It took me one year to force them not to call me Puan or Madam. I said, just call me Vivi. Why? I don't like to be called. Because when you put macam Puan, Madam, of course lah yang datuk-datuk tu, of course we have to address them that way. But I'm just like you. I mean, we just want to get things done. Hey, what's up? You're listening to the Sip Sip Show. Uh, nama saya Gen. Uh, Chin Tech Leong sini, Ate pun sini, and we have the Cynic punya gang di sini. We have Yay. Vivianti Sarjuni. Hello. Got your name right now yes. <laughs> this round. Uh, Vivianti Unyil. Ay, terlepas anting anting. Yeah, Vivianti Unyil. Unyil, Unyil is, is my kampung name. It means. It means it 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 is actually a a a, a cartoon character Indonesian punya cartoon huh. si Unyil. Nanti cuba kamu Google ada itu si Unyil. So, so this is like a pop culture thing. Ah, uh, siapa yang kasih nama? My begitu? dad, my oh. dad. So tahun 80-an dulu, mm-hmm. I think some of the area in Beaufort atau mana mana lah akan dapat some siaran from Brunei or Indonesia or Philippines kan? Mm. Kamu ingat kah tu? Kau saya telah potu aknya. <laughs> Akan dapat. So, so masa tu ada uh, mungkin orang dapat siaran kartun si Unyil. Ah, tajuk dia si si Unyil ke apa? Bad Unyil lah. But I don't know why masa tu my my mum mengandung saya. And masa tu itu itu kartun itu show memang very popular. And they decided to call me Unyil after that. <laughs> Wait. Um. Okay, I shouldn't ask this question, but maybe in, in a general, besar punya category. In in you were born in the eighties. Eighty yes, tiap awal 19, ke akhir. Nineteen eighty one. Really? Yes, I'm very comfortable with my how how old I am. So yes, nineteen eighty one. Selagi tua, kalau kalau lagi tua. Selagi tua. Okay. Selagi tua. Selagi tua. Selagi tua. Selagi But you don't look like eighty one, baby. See, see, see. No, you know what? Se- orang selalu ingat saya mama dia. Uh, mama dia meaning si M- si Mel, 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 si Mel, Mel yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> older. Oh, I'm older than my husband. So, so yeah. Don is here. Don is here. Um, yeah, I I I was talking to Don of Castari. Dia sangat <laughs> tidak nampak macam si Vivianti punya postings on on social media sangat <laughs> kakoh shif <laughs> <laughs> jumpa <laughs> sudah jumpa sudah hilang di KDCA jumpa sudah Amboy. saya tarik dia balik <laughs> so what was it like growing up I know okay it, but your reference kan Unyil ni kan mm. is not kau kau membesar di mana saya membesar Merata-rata Because my father Was a teacher last time oh. My father uh, Sebenarnya dari Johor Okay My father is a Johorian Tapi in the 70s dulu Banyak guru-guru tentera Dihantar ke Sabah Untuk okay. berkhidmat di sini Guru tentera Guru What? tentera So dulu bapa saya mengajar di St. Paul eh, Sorry uh, Yeah, St. Paul, Beaufort Okay uh, So kahwin to my mom And then saya jadi cego kan Jadi selalulah kena kas pindah-pindah So saya membesar di Beaufort Sampailah saya umur 6 tahun oh. Darjah satu Then I move to Beluran Palm oil It's a palm oil plantation Nama dia palm oil plantation Palm oil Palm oil hmm. So I grew up in palm oil for I think 12-13 years Saya membesar di sana So saya membesar di community-community Apalah uh, Apa ni uh, Ladang kelapa sawit lah All the apa ni orang bilang macam pekerja ladang lah. Hmm. Yeah, so saya membesar di sana. So that's why you got the name Unyil, because these areas pakai parabola untuk tengok TV. Yes. And you don't get RTM, the standard TV yang orang yes, di pekan dapat. Yes, itu masih mau sebut tadi parabola. Kenapa saya lupa parabola? So yeah, parabola. You grew up with a non 
Malaysian pop culture thing. But I have I didn't even watch that 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 apa show lah. Saya tidak tahu pun. Hmm. Um, yeah, and I jenis memang tidak watch TV dari kecil. And also because I think in rural setting kan you don't get that siaran much. Uh, yeah, masa dulu pun only TV one and TV two. Sarjuni is Javanese. Javanese. My dad is a Javanese. Ras. Ras dia is Ponorogo, Ponorogo. From Jawa Timur yeah. Wow uh, But my dad is the first generation Yang lahir di sini lah okay. Dia punya father dari Jawa Timur hmm. My mother is a Dusun Tatana Daripada Kuala Penyut Dusun Tatana is very Unique Yeah kan? Dusun pun bukan Cina pun bukan well. But they are that Yes And I remember Macam time kecil pun Ataupun kalau ada kematian ke perayaan ke, Like Chinese New Year is Bigger than Christmas To us hmm? uh, I remember my Auntie-auntie semua cakap Cina So padahal diorang dusun Tapi ada campur Cina jugalah But in in Kuala Penyut Memang you can you can see this culture Like kalau Chinese New Year Memang diorang celebrate berhabis lah Ya yeah. Um, so Dusun Tatana I guess I can Mentally relate When it's a Christian But Dusun Tatana Yang Muslim macam mana lagi tu Because Okay It's like a mix of Chinese culture Dusun culture And when you're Predominantly Christian And then, and then Now Muslim you're referring to how I grew up with Yeah, that. how okay. is that? Punya. It's I considered myself very lucky actually, very lucky because I could see from many perspectives. Uh kalau balik Johor this perspective, hmm. kalau pergi balik Kuala Penyu that perspective and it helped to develop this kind of understanding that not many people would have empathy, hmm. not only sympathy but empathy. Um and and I think it teaches me to until sekarang to to uh, not be reactive towards katalah ada something happen yang quite sensitive i try to understand from different different perspective juga macam mana but yeah it 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 has helped me to develop this kind of understanding lah towards mm. many things especially culture agama and all that and saya rasa ini memang saya sangat-sangat bersyukur lah sebab uh, macam contohnya lah kan uh, Bila balik I, I know some people can be fanatic Oh you know Ini haram ini tidak boleh But to me Saya sangat bersyukur lah Sebab saya tidak begitu lah Because hmm. you know you, if, if you lahir dalam keluarga Especially my father from Semenanjung Mungkin boleh jadi Begitu juga lah If, if you get what I mean mm-hmm. Like ada I guess How to say this when, Like when, conflict when, when we limit ourselves to a certain culture and we stop learning then maybe we can get there i mean yes to this place yang kau rasa kau saja yang betul yeah kau rasa macam kau punya culture saja yang superior than yes, others yes yes yeah. betul um and and i'm so thankful that my dad pun sangat-sangat faham kami punya family Contohnya lah kan macam Saya ingat lagi My dad Saya ni emotional sikit Kalau cakap pasal benda lepas Tapi okay I, said, I, I really want to share this okay. um, When I was seven Because Kami memang tinggal sama my grandparents My grandparents memang very Alim punya Catholic lah Memang hmm. every Sunday pergi church I would follow my nenek To the church I remember Christmas song by heart Tapi bila Pindah pergi Pamal Plantation Which is very far Like maybe masa tu Jalan pun belum ada Mungkin dalam 14-15 jam Naik kereta Eh kereta api lah pula kereta uh, We My dad macam worry Because kami Macam start sudah missing My nenek And hmm. there Christmas No more Christmas No more Chinese New Year No more Ang Pao And Because My dad realised Eh Kasihan pula orang ni tahu Hari raya My dad pergi cari ranting Kayu 
you know pokok yang ranting-ranting saja tu bikin christmas tree during hari raya bikin christmas christmas tree decorate that ranting kayu sampai jadi christmas tree i don't know how to explain it lah but dia letak kapas macam snow and then the ornament tu dia letak kat hari raya just hmm. so that we 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 don't miss our nenek so, uh, that much lah uh, so he tried to kasi kamba apa ni combine lah kan macam tu hmm. tu kasi mix all of this because he understand he understand dia punya he understand the the uniqueness of our culture ni lah di Sabah and waktu mami saya masuk Islam pun bapa saya bayar sogit because my my mom was a Catholic before kawin to my dad that pas up uh. masuk Islam lah so um, bayar sogit and and I find it very interesting and and i like it you know i i like that my the fact that my dad embraced that that culture um christmas we never fail to go back and dia tidak marah pun kami hafal christmas song tidak and because that does not by by celebrating christmas together with my nene it doesn't mean that saya masuk you know saya murtad ke apa hmm. and this is very personal tapi Sebelum tidur, saya tidur sama nenek, sama ingkong saya kan Kalau balik cuti sekolah pun saya tidur sama dia orang Sebelum tidur, my nenek would make sure that I recite Al-Fatihah and hmm. three calls And that is the kind of understanding yang saya sangat cherish Because, yalah, uh, masing-masing faham kan uh, Yeah, so no, no one should be so fanatic about something lah Kan, um kita pun sebab kami pun sangat rapat I grew up with my grandmother so I'm happy that you know I have that kind of memories I think I've told you this before like I I was very close to my late grandfather yeah. yeah I when it comes to the word fanatic kan saya rasa macam sabahan sa fanatic with love kita sayang satu benda tu sampai kita tiap peduli apa itu because i i grew up with ate oh. i i we paksa ate in the dining table untuk baca doa makan she's muslim and oh. the whole gang in the table is christian tapi kami ate sembahyang so everyone is like tunggu dia habis lah like saya se- 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 faham doa makan nice. so bila orang pergi kan ate pergi church tu so, sampai kau pernah dikecam ke pergi church dia I think Iwan kan? I, I, we have another, another cousin in in Putrajaya. So dia dia pun macam yeah lah, it's a, it's a family thing. It's yeah. it's not it's not a religion thing. Yes. But I'm I'm hanging out with my grandma. So my grandma mau pergi sembahyang. Pergi lah. So mm. or dia punya classmate nampakkan, "Ui, ini tak boleh tau." Lang tu siang. Apa yang tak boleh? Yeah, but when people understood, they kind of like okay, there's one point that we're missing here. It, this is not about religion itself. This is something else. So, I guess we're fanatic about love. We, we're fanatic to to love. There is something about Sabahan that I am still trying to understand. But but saya sangat. I don't know. Maybe you can share with me. Um, we as our bond kan macam satu macam ba, kan? <laughs> kan like we are very close. Lain agama pun but very close uh, Mana ada aku jumpa sup kedai Cina Jual sebelah jual murtabak o sayap ayam Di tempat lain Kan It, I mean can, Maybe I don't know What what do you think about that I feel um, Kejap Don dari mana? Tau oh, Wow okay <laughs> Kenapa saya ingat korang sebelah jung lah <laughs> Okay, not not enough homework. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I I have a feeling. It's when you, I I want to go to somewhere spiritual here. Um, when we talk about something spiritual, it 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 brings a lot of vibration. Um, it brings the the knowledge of frequencies mm-hmm. um, this is where 
orang nampak eh dia punya vibe ni best lah dia punya dia punya aura ni best lah even when you're not talking bila kau duduk sana ha- have you been in a bus in KL or somewhere terus macam dia orang Sabah ni mm-hmm. dia dia mungkin ada at least Filipino I I I, yeah. I get this from even when they are not talking, even when they are not uh, doing anything visual, you can feel it. And mm-hmm. I I felt this strongly waktu saya naik bus di Kepong yeah. dari dari Kepong mau PKL. Terus saya rasa macam there's something there's something about this lady, sulangan. Saya so, macam saya tidak nampak muka dia, dia duduk macam di sebelah di depan. Mm. And and now I'm still chatting with her ah. di Facebook ah. now and then. Bila bila dia turun saya kan I have this urge to excuse me lang but I I think we go to the same college tu lang. I I just want to tell you that um kita saya, saya rasa macam macam best duduk sebelah kau even when not not talking. I I think I was looking for God. I was looking for something bigger than mm-hmm. myself yeah. and then mungkin saya sensitif mm. towards these things mm. saya tak tahu lah kamu panggil ni syirik ke apa tapi <laughs> I but yeah but saya yeah. faham tak I get what you mean so bila dia rasa begitu kan dia macam okay this guy is weird mm. <laughs> dia macam okay kau ganjil Mm-mm. tapi bila selalu okay now dia kenal saya sudah lah so kamu sentiasa bertegur sudah di di cafe mm. di when was this? di live This was in 2001. You were just one year old. <laughs> so, uh, apa nama dia? Uh, dia, she has a, a short um, nickname by L U Q. Look something. Um, orang kota blut. And that thing repeated itself in Tokyo. I was in a subway. Terus kau boleh rasa macam this tingle is there again. And it was a, a guy. And he was talking in BM. Terus yang lama saya tengok dia kan? Kau dari mana? Terus yang main tegur saya ni. Terus dia pun dia tahu yang yes, sabahan. <laughs> Terus it, it was just like that ni. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, saya jumpa orang KK di Tokyo. But Time to say lah, yeah, he has to go off. But yeah. we Sabahan have a different frequency mm. than other people. Mm. This is what I I do mm. bodo cigen yang sangat oh. artistic. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when we create friends, when we cari kawan di KL, this Sabahan vibe. Can I say it's addictive? Macam Ah, tak best lah lepak sama Orang dari negeri ni Bagus lagi lepak sama Yang geng dirang ni And our studio ada macam Sebelas uh, orang Sabah mm-hmm. And it's always like The pot ni untuk all the creative students Untuk pergi lepak sana mm-hmm. Because they love the vibe mm-hmm. In that studio uh, Oh bukan, bukan orang Sabah ya Sabah Sarawak mm-hmm. So dia bilang kan Eh pergi studio Borneo lah dia So it became that ada bendera lagi ni. So we were like macam kami establish. Mm. Kalau orang Sabah Sarawak we have good vibes. Yeah. So yeah. dari sana macam it's embedded in me ni yang kalau kau Sabah Sarawak memang kalau pun kamu punya idea, kamu punya fahaman, kau punya agama lain but there's something about the Sabahan mentality yang kita boleh click. Yes, we can betul. lepak here, kita boleh makan sana. So I'm not sure what this thing is. Mm. Ito sa pangil, it's just our vibe, yeah. our vibration, frequency, something like that. I think it's still happening with our because we have a small cafe in Cyberjaya as well. So we we uh, sell coffee beans from Kundasang. Wow. Di Cyberjaya, um, since like maybe five years ago, it was it start it 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 started as just hobby actually, but now macam the place became 
uh, itulah terjadi kunjungan orang kawan-kawan kami lah like every night mesti akan ada lepak sampai 2 3 pagi so i think you're right lah maybe it's it's i don't know yeah maybe it's the vibe it's the yeah <laughs> Say Don angguk-angguk tu Yes I think I should interview Don nanti lah <laughs> Ya yeah. uh, I I don't know if this is going to The The podcast Saya mau tanya dulu ni soalan yeah, Kalau boleh. tidak we will cut it here okay. <laughs> Boleh boleh No worries um, Just now we were talking about Ate Ya yeah. And you were saying that you Guys are um, Yelah I mean Because I'm married, yeah. you want kids, mm. but it's not time yet. And you said that people think Mel is your daughter. Yes. Kan? Yes. How's your relationship with your with Jirang Si Mel? Because I feel when they are here, I still can see you. He, macam, <laughs> macam, uh, bukan kipas ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like your correct me if I'm wrong. <coughs> macam kau punya ajaran tu kan sama dirang, you impart even yourself in them. So bila dong bercakap, dong buat dong presentation and and I see them, I feel like betul ini view yang tipe orang ni. <laughs> I I feel like that. I, I feel like that strongly, betul. Thank and you. because I think there were a few events yang you were not there you were yalah kau di UK kan yeah. and they were here and and I still feel your presence in them really good seriously betul thank you I'm thank not you. sure if it's a compliment or not <laughs> <laughs> okay this is let's, funny let's discuss this <laughs> maybe it's too much Vivianti <laughs> maybe <laughs> but but it's 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 a good vibe it's a it's a positive <laughs> thing I I feel at home even though saya pergi KKIP kamu punya office like only a few times but remember when we wanted to do our first meeting and you said I bawa lah the kids you had that remember. in your head ba you had this um okay this is Vivianti to me to Egan even in a short meeting you would curate the meeting in a way that you accept everyone in that person's family bring the kids lah dalam otak saya kan it's gonna be like 30 minutes I can just go there sendiri and we can just talk and kasih habis the thing and I can blah and we can go on with our lives but this is Divianti punya skill like you you take them in and you take care of them mm-hmm Is that what you're doing to them? I don't know. I, I think I'm just being myself. Um, I don't have any hidden agenda. I just want to get shit done. <laughs> And I hate bureaucracy. I hate, you know, mokana, you know, everything. Itulah all this formality. I I don't like it. And I think we don't have in much time to. You know, layan all of this thing Untuk dihormati, untuk dikasih Put on a pedestal I don't think we have enough time Because we are so Kita masih termiskin ba, Megan? We are the poorest ba. We have the highest Unemployment ba. So, I don't think I have time For that, I just want to get everybody To You know, I want to empower them like Mel. I just want to see how I can... I mean, I don't know all of this. I'm not expert in creative or in technology or... You know, anything... Yalah, saya punya expert pun mungkin on social innovation saja, Social entrepreneurship. But when it comes to creative, I I have to be honest with you. I'm not the... I was I was, I was, I was a dancer before with Istana Budaya. But I am not expert in, you know, policy ka apa ka. But... I just want to see how I can support everyone, including you, so that you can do your work, or you can be, you know, you can. Apa mo You 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 can be the best vision of, vision of yourself. Yeah. I'm sure you have a lot of things you want to do, Mel. Can I? And and you too. Like when you mentioned Brisbane, dalam kapala sa macam macam sudah. How can I support him? Because I j- that's why I tanya you sudah confirm ka? Kalau you sudah confirm good. 
Kalau belum confirm, go confirm it because nanti akan ada sejalan tu bantuan. You know, so so I just want to get shit done, and I think all of this bureaucracy ah, yang mau kena, you know, you have to buat appointment, you have to ada makanan kalau meeting, or you have to, you, you know, all of this setting kan. I I don't have time for that. I'm saya ada masa berapa lama lagi saya ada masa mungkin kurang 10 tahun sebelum saya pension. And kalau saya mau ada begitu lagi ayah tidak siap lah kerja saya Egan. I I want to say this really bad. E- even when you're not a mother, you're still a mother. Still, <laughs> uh, and and I feel like this is the perfect formula for on an organization to 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 how you say to to strive is to have a real family. I mean, banyak. It's okay. Say macho. <laughs> <laughs> Banyak orang yang cakap Oh kita family Kita kita keluarga They throw this around Even in politics Kita keluarga But I have never seen an entity Like Cynic uh. Serious This That's why Bila saya, saya terfikirkan Macam Banyak kali saya rasa macam Mau mau approach kamu To to ask for help To ask for bantuan Begini-begitu I I just cannot relate Like Takkan saya mau minta don't, they, don't, they do technology I do arts But why do I feel So attached to them Why do I feel like This This frequency This vibe This mm. welcoming Punya feeling Dari kamu kan Is I so freaking it. strong I hmm? remember Before saya kena suruh balik Pergi sini I was 38 years old I was counting my age lah When state government Asked me to come back I said I can't because I want kids. I just got married. I want I want to do my IVF. If I do my IVF, masa saya bekerja, mm. I don't think it will be successful. And true enough, I did my IVF in, I think 2021 or 22. I can't remember. It didn't, you know, it was not successful because I was so stressed. And um, part of the reason why I applied for scholarship and went to Scotland is also to mengubati itu perasaan. Mm. Sedih and also at the same time I want to see how I can help Sabah lah After I come back And when you mentioned that Oh my god I think two weeks ago Sebulan sudah saya di sini uh, Semenjak Yalah sebulan saya, I split my time between KK and Sabijaya So sebul, uh, se, Waktu saya balik sini A month ago 15 Polytechnic 15 poly. 15 students from Polytechnic lah datang. So all of them was masih muda lah. I think umur berapa? Tahun berapa? Tahun pertama atau oh, tahun terakhir? I can't remember. And saya terfikir time tu kan Igan macam dia aku cakap. Saya bilang I might not have kids lah but these are my responsibility. These are my these are the future of Sabah and if I Ruin my Yalah My kerja-kerja di sini Because Diorang punya future Diorang punya opportunity ni Dalam tangan saya By Egan mm. If I don't give this opportunity To these 15 kids Yang berada duduk Di depan saya Then saya akan Yalah saya I'm useless lah I'm useless And Terus saya terfikir Ya yeah, maybe I tidak anak But These are my kids You know I have to give that opportunity To them And Ayah cakap pasal anak saya memang sedih Because I really want it badly kan And I told state government Saya bilang I can only Be here two years Because saya kejar umur saya Doktor bilang 42 is my last <laughs> 42 is my last Try I'm 42 now I don't have time I don't have that opportunity. You know, IVF is expensive. It's 
It's 20,000 minimum. I paid about 24,000 last time. And um, I'm sorry, really. I didn't expect that it would be like this. But cakap pasal anak, memang saya sangat sedih. Because, you know, jadi perempuan ni kan, Egan, you Minta have maaf. to... Minta maaf. Minta maaf. No, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I don't want to uh, bottle this up as well. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Cakap pasal perempuan ni kan Igan we are susah ba kami ni kan I think Ate can relate to this like um we have career at the same time we uh, kami, apa ni masyarakat expect kita untuk jadi ibu jadi anak j- eh jadi anak lah pula <laughs> ada anak sudah ada anak satu bila lagi number two um why you are always ni keluar outstation people still question me like why siapa jaga kau punya laki ah kau tidak takut ke laki kau kena sondol <laughs> You know? It, I, I I don't think. Why why don't men get the same questions? Yes, exactly, right. And and I think, but it's not. Sometimes you're wrong. Punya mistake me. juga, tidak. But but I think men should be included in the conversation when it comes to benda benda begini. Kita kan make men understand juga, and on and the society to understand that it is not the f- apa is it is not perempuan punya salah saja hundred percent. Even after my IVF fail, Kanigan, people say masih berdarah lagi. Ya. People still question me like that's why you work, you are very workaholic. That's why anak kau jatuh. <sighs> and well, well, I'm not angry with them lah. It's just that you can't control whatever orang mau cakapkan. It, it's just that kita punya society ini masih, you know, masih beginilah. Mm, I think it's our responsibility juga lah to make sure that that everyone faham uh, peranan wanita lelaki and and itulah saya punya pendapat men should be included in the conversation not just perempuan saja mm. we need to understand their perspectives as well and and um, even like in in cynic pun I really encourage uh, you know perdebatan yang agak mungkin berat we, we, I always told my team I always tell my team kalau boleh uh, have this conversation yang yang apa uh, how to say this ah? not to say difficult lah yang yang kau tidak kena cucuk macam hmm. kerbau dicucuk apa I, ni I guess you know tidak mengikut saja challenge challenge kau punya challenge the status quo challenge people punya perspective true yeah. That, and, that's and, the perfect word challenge yes I guess I think mm. as as a uh, 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 normal sabahan I can say <coughs> kita bukan jenis yang mau debate in topics yeah we're very recently scared, kamatan huh? uh, we we got Amy uh, Dr. M yeah. and these are people yang biasa debate and they they talk and talk for the sake of ideas for the sake of uh, ideologies being compared. Yeah. Bila dia orang bercakap begitu kan, the netizens kan dia orang punya gaya yang kenapa dia orang bergaduh ni? Kenapa more attention? Kenapa we normal Sabahans are missing the point. We do not see the opportunity to discuss. Yes. We miss this this vehicle that could bring us to the future ba. Yeah. And we're still stuck ni yes. Bila orang Bila kau ada idea Orang cakap Eh tidak ngam tu Terus kau panas ni yang Kau apa nak tahu yeah, very Padahal reactive orang mau kasih Yeah Very reactive <sighs> We don't have that growth mindset uh, Bila Ada tu saya nampak Oh Bila kamatan ramai lah Mau jadi cendekiawan ke apa kah. But but I think I might be biased But I think Kalau saya tidak kenal Datuk Rem pun I still agree with Datuk Rem And I think hmm. Uh, itulah kepentingan Eh nanti panjang pula kan Tapi <laughs> I agree with him lah <laughs> Yeah I agree with him yeah, I, he, he, I love the way he Dia explain things Yeah And dia bercerita macam Macam bercerita But yeah. it's not our normal kedai kopi punya cerita Dia punya Dia punya prosa cantik yeah. Dia punya ayat pun yang yes. He paints pictures with his words. Yes, yang so, senang juga kita mau yeah. faham, tapi ada juga tidak faham. Ada. <laughs> <laughs> Sangat banyak. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's not go there. <laughs> um let's Okay. 
Really? Alright. <laughs> Kau mat. <laughs> okay. Kembali sudah kita. Um, so you were talking about quote on quote motherhood, uh, and it turned to be like super serious. Semua pergi, semua semua, because when you were in the UK, you do you you were doing your studies and everything. Yeah. Uh, I tried to follow as much when you go live. Yang kopi berjalan yang, Ini apa building Itu apa building Oh sekarang hari ni sejuk uh, We turn off heater To jimat duit Terus yang Oh enak Saya bilang kan Sengsara apa ni I mean you have to do your work And then Without heat Oh Susah What, what, what was your routine Di sana Oh my god I had Okay Eh kejap Okay In hmm. For context Apa kau hmm. buat di UK So uh, I Got a scholarship from mm-hmm. government uh, from Brit- British government. It's a shivening scholarship. Yay. Yeah, so I studied masters of uh, masters in social innovation and entrepreneurship mm-hmm. uh, in University of Strathclyde, Scotland, in Glasgow. So excited lah ni, excited mm. pergi sana. So I thought I could rest lah sekejap cuti, uh, sambil apa cuti belajar lah cuti belajar. But I was wrong. <laughs> Because belajar, I had to doing. Belajar I had to kerja Ikut masa waktu Malaysia Kami beza 7 hingga 8 jam At the same time Because saya You still do work in sini? Yes I, w- I woke up every At 1am or 2am In the morning Just to Send whatsapp to my team Hi good morning I hope everything is good What's on your plate today uh, Apalah adakah urgent saya boleh tolong Because kalau tidak kan Susah banyak benda tidak jalan banyak benda tidak jalan so um, but it's okay I'm, I'm still masa tu pun saya macam you know you have to do what you have to do lah kan kalau saya pun janji saya pergi Scotland ni untuk bantu Sabah not hmm. just cynic but bantu Sabah uh, kemudian saya kerja saya tidak banyak duit sana saya memang betul-betul I ha- I had to choose whether I want heater ke I want makan Hmm. I, I cannot afford to have both So Saya kerja di kedai sushi Buat sushi But I enjoyed it And the experience really humbled me lah Egan And if I have to repeat it again I I would definitely do it um, Kemudian Ya yeah, saya kerja Saya masih bantu sinik uh, Dan dan uh, di sana juga Saya ada kesempatan jalan-jalan Pergi Europe uh, Saya ada dah terima jemputan untuk jadi speaker juga di university in Netherlands, in Scotland, in London, um, and I think it was orang bilang apa ni ya sangat satu pengalaman yang sangat berharga lah for me, yeah and and apa apa yang macam contohnya kesusahan kesusahan tu kan actually bikin kasih jadi saya lagi merendah diri, yeah because bila pergi UK mana ada orang kenal you sana and saya sudah berumur masa tu saya I, I sudah 40 lebih and my classmates semua 20 lebih 30 lebih and mencabar juga because we have different mindset different hmm. pace uh, saya satu orang satu orang and and the young ones with the young ones lah uh, but it was okay it was good an experience yang saya tidak akan dapat lupakan saya ingat saya sudah 40 lebih tiada peluang lah but don't underestimate yourself <laughs> <laughs> Itu yang saya belajar And yeah uh, I think my wife Also had apply For Shevening Didn't get selected I think that Natasha Joy B yeah, 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 yeah My good friend Kawan-kawan ni semua Sama lah kami di Scotland sana Kawan-kawan juga yeah. Oh Geng-geng juga tu Geng-geng juga Geng uh, She was with WWF kan? Yes Still with WWF I think mm, Yeah. The Star New Street Times kan so yeah pusing-pusing tu mm. um pang from KL Sanjong pang kitek oh pun siap eh no no not him sorry that's his partner um pun shevening uh, banyak ba kawan-kawan yang dapat sana tu you apply lah uh, uh, beli tu i didn't expect at you all you know what i am at that level yang saya takut mau apply benda Because macam Kalau saya apply saya dapat ni 
you, you oh, know okay. terus aku jadi takut because takut because I have kids I have okay. I have a house to build mean, yeah. I have work terus macam bah nak na, kalau dapat now what you have to yeah. do the work I mean yeah. it, it's fun it's yeah. interesting it's it's macam saya punya regret kan kenapa all these organizations these people these museums they didn't see me in the last 15 years because i was energetic the energy was high that time mm. and i i know what i wanted to do back in f- like 15 years ago why didn't you listen then because i would have delivered something better at at an early age because you have more energy yeah, kan, to, to do things realistically dia akan cakap you're still new and we haven't seen no work yet oh my god and <sighs> kau kami tak boleh kami tak boleh kasih kau sejak ni no. so i had to wait so sekarang when i'm better i have kids that's I have a, a life really so, that's that's something that i could not understand like kenapa some older generation ni kan diorang melihat yang the younger generations ni sebagai either uh, kau masih muda tidak cukup pengalaman ataupun a threat to you hmm. to me kan if you know what you're doing kan tidak kira lah kau ad, kau advocate apa-apa pun kau di sektor banking ka apa ka if you understand leadership You would want your colleague to be better than you. True. Ataupun macam in our case, we want as many sabahans to get benefit from sinik. Contohnya dalam konteks kerja saya. Um, and walaupun ada juga mungkin beberapa orang ataupun yalah mungkin yang tidak happy sama kami, we still give them opportunity. Walaupun dia orang you know pergi other agency and talk bad about us. But kalau ada opportunity datang I still like Don't worry Kita bagi saja Diorang peluang It's okay It's okay They don't know You know So so, uh, I think Kalau macam saya ni kan Egan saya memang Sangat obses sama Developing talents hmm. Especially the young ones Because They are still young They can afford to make A lot of mistakes And they can learn Faster uh, Yalah kau, kalau macam umur saya ni mau buat banyak mistake susah lah sudah kan but but at your age um, you know you can afford to do that and learn from the mistake lah tidak lah buat mistake and tidak belajar I, ini bukan lecture <laughs> session ya <laughs> yeah but, but you guys are just listening <laughs> I think we the leadership kita ada problem with leadership here in Sabah I don't know mungkin tempat lain pun ada but I think especially Uh, contohnya agensi-agensi yang Macam kami ni kan I think uh, Leadership tu sangat important And when I say leadership Bukan saya saja The hmm. Semua at, at every level punya leadership Biarpun kau pencuci tandas But if you know Your role Kan every day You ada leadership People would be You know, happy to see Yalah, bukan kon- dalam kon- Susah pula cakap dalam konteks tandas kan no, Tapi, no, 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 no. You know, no. you get what I mean Yes, yes, yes Have you guys been to Bandung? Rumah Moda Yes Okay, I've it's a, it's a shopping yeah. place thing I went to the toilet mm. Saya keluar saja This lady I think she was Obviously younger than me Cantik She stomped into the cubicle yang saya baru keluar Terus flush siram air lap. Terus saya jadi malu ah yang okay saya baru kencing tadi. Tapi kan she was so passionate yang this is this is my thing. This is my responsibility and I'm doing it. Mm. Terus saya macam saya keluarkan saya mau cakap sama si CN yang this this happened just now. Si yeah. CN keluar. You know what happened? Dia bilang the lady storm into my queue. The same story ah. Yeah. It happened in both men and women punya oh. toilet. So si kami macam yang What you is know, this? You know, it happened to me two weeks ago. I hate public toilets. Saya kalau boleh saya tahan sampai rumah baru saya pergi toilet. Mm-hmm. But hari itu memang gone case lah. Memang saya kena, tidak boleh tahan. Cakap pasal toilet pula kan. But it was a bad day for me. Memang dari pagi sampai petang saya bad mood. But petang tu saya pergi toilet. 
Saya terkejut Imago punya toilet Sangat bersih Masa tu lah tidak tahu lah shift lain kan And Instantly kan dia change my mood bah. Terus saya bilang kak thank you ah Kasih bersih ni toilet bersih oh, ni toilet And saya the workers are nice oh. kan Yes Okay uh, props to Imago Instantly kan change my mood bah. Betul You know Betul So betul lah wah not bad ah. Public toilet Imago bersih ah. And then Ya yeah, Macam Mau Berjela-jela pula saya mau cakap pasal the detail kan <laughs> But yeah that that was what happened Yeah Betul lah yeah. <laughs> uh, But we were talking about leadership tadi kan yes. Itulah like, I think it's high time for us Not to see leadership Just on the kepala of the agency saja. In my context mm. I think we should also empower the young ones Like Mel Macam tadi I said Mel um, Nanti you choose lah Which uh, which SE lah Kita mau uh, feature in this Sip Sip Show Kalau Mungkin leadership lain akan Oh I want this 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 is kan dia yang decide kan yang ketua yang decide but i told myself mel will never learn the macam mana mau you know go through all of this process if she didn't do it herself so i said mel up to you i'm okay with your I'm, i trust you i'm okay with any apa pun kau punya decision and that is what i terapkan lah even in my uh, at least cynic lah Um, I want them to make decision Walaupun decision itu mungkin Akan ada risk But if the risk I can afford to Take the risk Never mind I'll take it um, Pemilihan SE Untuk dibawa ke Semenanjung Contohnya I Let them do But of course I will uh, Check every now and then But I want them to go through that process So they Develop this Orang bilang understanding Towards our community Sometimes yeah. you have to let go juga kan Of course you have to let go. You ada anak kan? You you I think I you am understand so protective the of my kids. Exactly. See, my wife is like, "Eh, hey, chill lah." Dulu kan. Ah. Memanglah they get hurt sometimes. But yeah. I I always think like not in my watch. Tu siang ko jaga pula bis ni. Now I'm I'm Your wife s- pula chill lah? Ya, yeah, sangat. Kadang-kadang kan saya macam mau gerigitan yang kenapa apa ni anak luka kalau kau yang jaga. Begitu. Oh. But When I when I rethink and rethink, yeah, it it needs to happen. They need to learn about the small hurts before yeah. they get to the bigger ones. Yes. And and I I I hate to say it to hurt, but she is so right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah <"Nye> lah, kau menang lah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's normal. Um, yeah. Yeah. But but itulah macam. Uh, Sometimes they have to learn the hard way juga Kalau tidak Diorang tidak akan dapat build that character for them Nanti in the future kamu pun akan jadi ketua kan So you will remember this Angguk-angguk si Mel For, for you guys yang tidak nampak <laughs> I, I'm really happy to see you here again You know Because last time Bila saya nampak kau pergi For the study I was like Oh, that, she's done. Dia kalau sudah pergi belajar, dia balik lagi. Itu di sini kah? I was thinking like, you might have like a different life after this, blah, blah. But no, you came back to the nest and you grew bigger and stronger and now you're here. And the presentation the other day yang saya dengar, kau pula hotak, bes. Yang, oh, you must be proud. Dia, Bila presentation uh, For the British Council, kata dia. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. well done. Hmm. Well done. <laughs> You should do more of that. That that uh, was when you were not here. They were here, and that was when I felt you. Oh. Yeah, betul. Serious. Yang saya nampak dengan kan yang, yeah. Dia 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 punya anak didik lah ni. Dia kena chop ni. So every month we will have brown bag. So everyone mesti ada. So brown bag session is basically a session, a one hour session okay. where we can be makan and then someone will share about their experience. So. I want to train them in public speaking, bana. Mm. Untuk ngadaw lagi kan. <laughs> But public speaking is very It's important. important. And every month akan ada brown bag cerita lah. Apa kamu mau cerita pasal beauty pageant ka, ke gardening ka, apa ka? Saya tidak mm. peduli. Yang penting bercakap and share that information with all of us. Um, so we we I mean, we are very busy, but we make sure that we do that every month lah. Mm. I. I I hate 
this um, bukan sabahan mentality it's a sabahan practice yang orang cakap sebenarnya ada betul saya mau cakap tadi tapi saya malas so it's always like during meetings lagi, sebenarnya saya lagi awal betul bikin ya yeah. oh sebenarnya tu idea saya buat tapi saya tidak cakap saya tidak mau bising-bising terus kau rugi kan sebab kau tak cakap exactly <sighs> kan betul. so Itulah lah macam Oh lama sudah batu Saya punya idea batu Saya mau bikin Tapi biarlah Tapi tiada dana Oh tiada uh, Itulah I mean Kalau kita mau sentiasa fikir <laughs> You know All of these challenges kan Tidak dapat buat apa-apa bah. Memang tidak akan jadi So you just Sis, have to be brave lah Saya, saya sangat trigger tau with that Because Kalau kopi kampung saya kan Banyak bayang They blame the YB, they blame the ketua kampung, they blame the all the orang atas, and they think that is the only one source of success. Macam tu lah yang yeah. eh, sebenarnya kan saya sudah fikir mau mau bikin ini project lagu, film, or any ideas. Tapi bila saya pergi jumpa si YB ini untuk minta bantuan, kami tidak kena layan. Like no. YB is the only hope. Itulah. So, kalau kami kena tolong, boleh betul, boleh bikin benih. But they didn't go anywhere else. And they just bitch about it. Just look at, I mean, just, we talk about you lah kan, Egan. Even with dana yang sangat limited, but you still make things happen. You know, we should, itulah macam you mentioned just now, why when I ask you to bring your anak kan, uh, I don't, I don't, But saya pun tidak terfikir like hmm. why is it why it becomes a topic you know because why not why not you bawa anak you pergi meeting oh. uh, itulah I think we really need to do a lot of uh, a lot of work when it comes to leadership so I hope like all of this saya mana-mana saja lah corporate ke universiti ke apa please uh, look at this bureaucracy punya Hmm. Setting yang menghalang Kita punya kemajuan Contohnya kalau macam di universiti saya di Scotland Mau buat forum To our sharing session Do it Tidak perlu pun ada speech Tidak perlu pun ada kan? Tidak perlu pun ada makan sampai berhidang ke apa They just serve apples Biscuits uh, uh, Coffee And some snacks Habis Because they focus on Getting things done di sini payah lagi kau terpaksa oh kau kena hormat or I, I know yes. to some extent kau kena ada protokol itu saya faham but when it comes to hal-hal uh, ilmu kan hal-hal hmm. untuk kasih bantu orang hal-hal sharing session ke apa I I don't think we need that apalah we do bureaucracy sangat yeah we just macam saya bilang I like this thing get shit done just get shit done itu saja bah <laughs> Kau, oh. anu kan ni? Sensor kah itu shit? No. <laughs> Sorry. I, we, we don't care about these things. <laughs> we get it done. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah. okay. Berapa kau punya time, Mat? Saya sudah kan? Saya ada 1 jam 15 minit saja ni. Ya, dia sudah 3 kali. Oh, ya kah? Ah, Oh, I um, enjoy talking to you, Egan. I enjoy talking to you. Enjoy. Are you guys okay? Kami, I, I kami really ada audience like hari ni. I really like it. I, I really hope this is therapeutic for you. Of course, of course. I mean, I don't really talk about this thing, you know, motherhood and all, hmm. because I always believe I have to appear macam, you know, kuat lah in front of orang kan. But people don't really see the struggle, bah. This is so needed. It's so necessary in today's people Because Bila kau buka You see Oh I bought a new car New house New this and that Orang nampak kau punya success Success yeah. Success And yeah. and sometimes those success Tidak tahu betul ke tidak Oh sorry mm. But What we really need to see is process mm-hmm. Macam mana kau struggle Macam mana kau sakit Macam mana kau makan ubat To get to this so-called success mm-hmm. Um I was listening to this podcast uh, Aflin Chowki was talking mm. um, What if They bilang kan We don't see uh, People's success But we just see their happiness And and I don't know 
we might be that generation to discover or or rediscover this macam now kita bukan sejak bekerja <coughs> sebab kita mau cari makan but mm. kita bekerja because family is here mm. like like you guys are living proof that a workplace is also a family place mm-hmm. i mean i don't I I I hope I I hope I don't offend you but yeah. I don't see you as a boss figure. I don't see you as madam puan. I I see you as someone yang very <laughs> sebuli I mean you almost wanted to hug me just out. Nasi baik saya baru keluar toilet. <laughs> Th- that that kind of feeling ba. Yeah. And uh, yeah, kadang-kadang it took kita, me one year to force them not to call me puan or madam. <laughs> I said just call me Vivi. What I don't like to be called because when you put my champuan madam of course lah yang datu datu tu of course we have to address oh, them yeah. that way but I'm just like you I mean we just want to get things done and kalau kau letak itu puan tuan semua angguk angguk oh you know semua semua akan ada satu barrier yang agak agak tebal begitu ha ah mm. macam kau bila buat kerja pun kau takut because nanti oh si Puan Vivi akan marah oh salah kan ya so when you think of takut because yalah takut oh dia 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 Puan dia ini semua jadi you will not get things done perfectly maybe you will get things done but not as how it should be kalau kau tidak letak itu barrier so macam tu lah um, say I took me one year to, to, to stop them from calling me Puan you know I I understand at some point or setting maybe kena ada address begitu but we we just click saya tidak per- saya I don't even have an office I tidak office di di sini like bilik office saya saya tidak office I work everywhere yeah stress kan ada ada kestresan di situ kenapa kau tidak bilik kau sendiri kau pergi masuk situ I think we're used to it Yeah, so we share, yeah. we, we have yeah, this we open space lah. Open space, mm. and then kalau kami mau talk and discuss, we are free to talk and discuss whenever we want because she's there. So, mm. Saya terpaksa-paksa diorang ba, saya bilang apply this program, ya San Hassan I think has this program, mm. diorang hantar orang pergi luar negara for minimum one day, maximum three months to overseas. Free, berbayar, tidak per... Saya terpaksa paksa dia orang bah. Like, you still sebab kalau orang pergi pun I I will still keep them in sinik because mm. I want that ilmu you know and and I'm so happy that last I think last month kan one of my team members lah baru kan certified as the first Sabahan female uh, as a research technology transfer professional dia punya certificate daripada Oxford um Oxenia of Oxford signed by people in Oxford University of Oxford hmm. and I'm so happy sebab um, itulah yang kita mahu kan Egan you see saya mahu tim saya lebih baik dari saya and I'm okay if I have to learn from them and saya tidak sabar mau belajar daripada dia tapi dia saja yang malu-malu ni <laughs> so I can't wait to make that announcement um, nama dia Suhaila dia daripada Semporna uh, so he, she will be responsible in terms of transferring technology to the industry ataupun how to commercialize the technology oh. in Sabah. Correction, she's from Tawau. Oh, she's from Tawau. Sorry, Suhaila. Oh, orang Gordon. <laughs> orang Tawau. <laughs> Brilliant girl. Brilliant girl. Damn. Okay. I, I'm so happy this episode happened. Saya rasa macam banyak kita punya episode talks about um, yelah orang-orang yang Uh, quote on quote successful but we hear a lot of dark struggles and pain and i guess it's needed this this is a platform where people talk about things that they don't normally talk about and uh this episode really is a breath of fresh air it's I, mm. it's very motivational thank you um for us Uh, orang Sabah yang biasa-biasa Kalau dengar ni pun You don't have to like Tinggi sekolah to understand You know uh, I'm 
I I guess we can go long now. Any um before she start rambling with with closing things, any impartation, any anything you wanna? I say baru mau warm up sama you. Saya baru mau warm up. Satu setengah jam sudah ni. Saya rasa macam baru setengah jam. But yes, yes, it it does feel like that. Ini ini perlu. But I think. How about if we go to you next time? Go to me. Hmm. Sip sip pergi ke KIP. Of course, yeah. Kan? Boleh kita boleh buat di KIP, boleh buat di sandbox. You know, anyway you want to make apa you, you want to. Bikin apa? live lagi. Boleh. Bikin live. Can. Then we do episode two. Then then you can. <laughs> meluah berabis. But I think you know I hope. It's not just me. I think you can also interview my yeah. team. I think they they are equally brilliant, and um I and and also ada saya mau tambah tadi. I think it's okay to be vulnerable. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yalah macam you cakap buka Facebook. Wah, saya melawat ini. Saya pergi Korea. Saya pergi ini semua. Uh, memang it's nice to see, but I think it's also important for leaders to talk about their struggles, to talk, to be vulnerable. I'm just a human being. Kan, um, and that pros that struggle too. I think it's important for people to understand because, macam you bilang tadi, ataupun maybe, okay lah. Saya punya personal uh, take lah on this. I think the younger generation mungkin sedikit kurang resilient when it comes to you know, yalah kurang resilient sedikit lah saya saya tengok. And I think this is just my personal take lah and 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 i think we should <laughs> i can interview later and you can retaliate <laughs> yeah i think they need to uh, learn or hmm. maybe hear more of our struggles lah yang from different generation so i think intergenerational punya discussion tu sangat important yes. um and yeah saya sebenarnya I am very happy with this podcast sebab selalu hana interview very formal setting. <laughs> But this one I am allowed to be myself and to yes. be vulnerable. And saya harap apa ya? Saya punya harapan I just wish kamu semua sip sip show all the very best and saya harap we can interview more people not just from you know the leaders punya perspective but maybe orang-orang biasa hmm. maybe you want to hear that their perspective orang-orang di kampung contohnya that 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 is the first intention of the sip sip show i was telling you about kajian yeah. sejarah kajian yeah. geografi tempatan yeah. kan i wanted to interview anti cleaner yes tukang tukang landscape yes, yes. but these people are so hard to talk to i tidak mau lah cerita eh janganlah i mikrofon ke tu tidak mau lah very very hard <laughs> yeah, yeah. so i i think if there is a mechanism yeah. saya mau belajar macam mana mau bercakap semua orang yang yeah. tidak mau bercakap mm-hmm. because why we get A lot. Of, what is that? Done. <laughs> It's like that. Oh, okay. Ch- <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> Because, kenapa? If you see the sip sip show punya trend kan, banyak um, artis, banyak band, banyak mm. banyak people yang wanted to talk about dirang punya. I don't know products, history, struggles. They want to. They want to express something, but I want to learn from orang biasa. Really, I, kalau dapat kan saya mau bercakap sama um, ex uh, drug user, yes. um, orang yang baru keluar dari jail. Mm. Then, then you see the other side of Sabah. Then you okay. see yang oh, memang memang these people would you because they are almost invisible ni yes. okay i'm rambling sir no no you're right you're right i learn a lot from our coffee farmers as well our uh, my husband has a social enterprise hmm. bonus specialty coffee we have uh, our own beneficiaries and 
Well, I learned a lot from them, especially their struggles. Like <coughs> one of them had to berhenti daripada kerja sama kami because suami dia jealous. And when she came to see us before we left for Glasgow, <coughs> baju dia masih koyak-koyak. Sedangkan penerima manfaat yang lain pula sudah <coughs> sorry sudah ada emas, sudah ada baju bagus, pandai bersolek sudah. <coughs> she is still like that. Husband tidak benarkan dia ikut bekerja. <coughs> Husband akan intip dia dia pergi mana-mana. Bila dia datang jumpa kami because she also want to say bye. She couldn't she was not even wearing bra. Because she couldn't afford it. So dari sana saya faham, oh my god, different people, really different struggle. <coughs> But oh. we still keep in touch with him, with her lah kan. But di sana you can see, uh, yalah macam our beneficiary, kalau uh, macam kita punya social enterprise ni, we, we, we can see those yang kita tolong and those yang tidak mau kena tolong apa jadi sama dia orang. So di sana saya That's why I'm very passionate about this social innovation, social enterprise because I have seen how it has changed people's life. And Be- this bateri masih okey ke? Yeah. Saya mau tanya satu soalan lagi. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> boleh, boleh, boleh. Betul. Betul pula saya nak tanya. I I see a very strong feminist punya um element in in scenic. Mm. Am I am I saying this correct? Dia macam banyak female uh, leadership. I mean not not just you, but them. There are female Eva and and the rest. I sense a strong female bond di sana. And yeah, can, can you tell us something about that because mm. I, I think Yeah. I never said like oh mesti ada you know 70% female or 30% male. I never have that plan. Mm. Um I gave you know every power yang ada untuk saya punya HR buat recruitment. I I never planned that. Okay. Um but I think also because Female leadership, uh, f- female. You mean like more perempuan or no, 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 the no. way we do things or? Bukan. Um, I'm not talking about quantity. I'm talking about the 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 feel of it. I'm ah. talking about the the environment. It 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 feels. Maybe juga because I'm perempuan lah. Maybe maybe, but. Saya sendiri lahir dalam keluarga Lima orang adik-beradik Oi. Lima orang adik-beradik Semua perempuan And growing up Kami selalu diingat sebagai Especially mami saya lah Igen, kesian Selalu kena ingat tiada nasib bah Because tiada anak lelaki Can you imagine? Huh. Ya yeah. Tiada anak lelaki Oi, Kesian oh dia tiada keturunan Oh kesian oh dia anak dia semua perempuan Nanti kalau kahwin ikut laki Dan um, tinggal ada orang dua orang Macam mana tu? Uh, yeah Wait, lah. is this the Chinese side of the Tatana? Uh, not really. I think okay. both, both. I think in general, pun mm. people are like that, kan? Uh, so, bila an mami saya mengandung anak yang kelima dan dia tidak mau scan pun sebab dia takut kalau mm. anak perempuan <laughs> nanti dia sedih. So bila keluar anak perempuan juga, I was 16 at that time, and I was. I pick lah from the window di tempat mama saya beranak tu saya buka tingkap saya tengok dia menangis sambil father saya kasi sikat rambut dia jangan nangis it's okay pujuk lah mami saya because it's perempuan kan hmm. anak perempuan yang lahir so I couldn't understand like why what's wrong with being anak perempuan then uh, sudah sebesar baru saya faham oh okay because kami tiada nasib kalau itulah orang punya kepercayaan sampai ada satu orang bilang, okay, any if you don't want your baby number five, give it to me. Sampai kena suruh okay. sogit bah. Okay. Mami saya teriak, mami saya bilang, you don't ever say that. Because anak apapun, saya tetap akan terima anak saya. And number five tu sekarang sudah jadi hydrogen energy scientist in KL now working with UK company. And, and, and maybe also because I grew up in in this environment where the stigma is perempuan 
it's always uh, mungkin agak kurang dari, I don't know what you call it ah uh, how do you conclude it ah uh? macam perempuan should be perempuan should be behind <laughs> lelaki you know um, uh, so maybe I grew up with that kind of environment mm. so that's why bila grow bila saya sendiri bekerja pun I always make sure saya mahu pastikan bahawa pekerjaan tidak menentukan peluang yang ada untuk eh pekerjaan tidak uh, apa jantina oh, tidak okay. menentukan jenis peluang yang ada untuk kita semua hydrogen energy scientist, scientist. yes from UKM so that's why maybe with them pun saya macam empower them like um, uh, yang especially perempuan lah uh, Yalah, I make sure. I don't know if I answer your question. I don't know. You're getting there, but but <laughs> I understand this. Me, I, but but yeah. Kalau female feel tu, I'm not sure. Maybe juga saya perempuan lah, so cara saya lain lah. Maybe my my story is uh, why I feel that way about Cynic is when I started bringing Ate mm. in the bantering of Sip Sip Show. I talked to Anne. Saya bilang. Saya mau ate banter sama saya So we have a conversation Ya yeah, dia bilang You need a female voice Dia bilang Terlampau egoistik sudah kau punya Cara bercakap Kalau kamu lelaki-lelaki saja You need a bit more color Ah so I bila, get what you mean yeah, I So get bila what you mean. ate is in the picture with Ahmad It sounds Relatable It sounds mm. like a family It sounds Macam Ada balance kah? Ya yeah. Orang tidak kenal siapa kami Tapi bila mereka dengarkan Macam Nah kan Nah kan Dia macam ni Nah kan Si Ate marah Itu lah apa mm. Dia ingat Dia betul So we have uh, Some people Some some friends Yang bercakap yang uh, I I listen to you guys Sebab uh, Now it's Relatable Macam sekarang It makes more sense Okay So when I'm In The The, the Very little time That I am Been to Sinek I I feel Included Oh Yeah I'm happy you feel that way Really Because We really want to be inclusive Before masuk sini pun Saya cakap sama si Mel I want us to be inclusive To to everyone And I know With limited budget We can't do everything Egan I feel bad every day I don't think it's It's about budget I mean when you want To include people I was lost Mau cari kamu punya tempat malam punya event And someone texted me I forgot who Are you okay? Kau boleh jumpa ni tempat Ngam saya disampai sana And that was So ah. the, That That element okay. In scenic Yang saya sangat Okay This thing you cannot teach This thing you cannot pay people to They do They call it Tacit knowledge Huh You know, me- memang saya ada kasih tahu my team treat anyone who comes to Sinek as VIP. Yeah, yeah, saya sangat rasa macam VIP. So, there was <laughs> there was one time in KL. Um, so we we brought our KL uh, our our startup for KL weekend an event, uh, a creative event lah in KL. So ada banyak kotak and saya kesian because tidak orang tolong. So apa susah saya tolong lah saya angkat lah and it became A topic sampai berhari-hari kenapa aku suruh kau punya G, uh, apa GM yang angkat I said what's the problem why it became a, a, a topic and I told them like jangan malu pun kalau mau pungut sampah kalau ada yalah selepas kita buat event ke apa ke I kau sudah jadi manager ke apa I don't care you pungut sampah you help carry the table you help carry the chair I just don't get it. Like I don't understand why certain people cannot do certain stuff. You know, everyone is a VIP, and in in fact, we are working for you guys. I work for you. I work for Ate. I work for Ahmad. And it's our responsibility to to to, yeah to treat everyone sebagai VIP. Lah. I think that's our mantra. Can treat everyone as a VIP. Wow. Cuma. Jangan marah kami lah kalau kami tidak dapat tunaikan <laughs> apa-apa kamu punya permintaan. I know the first two years was good lah kami dapat bagi banyak. But you know, I think with the change of government, change of kita punya dynamic of politics, it's 
you know even you know hard for me I saya keluarkan duit sendiri untuk buat program because I just, like I said I just want to get things done and I want our our startups to get as much you know benefit as they apa they can lah from Cynic and okay saya pun mau I just want to say you know thank you so much Egan because saya sebenarnya malu and rasa terharu saya bilang we saya termas- termasuk juga dalam list dia saya Hi. bukan siapa-siapa saya nampak kamu punya list oh my god semua yang hebat-hebat I'm just like a hayah it can be list saja but you know thank you so much and I hope kamu teruskan buat benda ni because I think di Sabah tiat, saya tengok kamu punya podcast and I think it's very itulah macam you cakap natural uh, apa uh, organic and santai and hmm. bila santai you get to keluarkan everything tiada yang sugar coat ka apa ka tiada and i think we need this discussion to and i believe as a community builder we need to provoke kalau bukan provoke pun we need to uh, talk about things we need to ada bahasa satu perkataan kenapa saya lupa ah itu mindset ba especially hmm. the rural kan kita tidak boleh ikut saja apa orang cakap you must be able to think uh, critically um, question yes question jangan yes. marah kalau orang question I told my team jangan marah kalau orang question kita kita cuba faham kenapa dia orang tanya itu soalan oh it's okay they don't know so it's our responsibility to explain to them mm. I always have this debate with my mom mom my mom mm. dia akan cakap ah takkanlah dia orang tipu ini barang masuk TV ba You heard about that before. Uh, dia, dia masuk TV so ni takkanlah kerajaan kita mau tipu kita. Takkanlah ini ahli polit ini YB mau tembirang. Sudah masuk TV ni. Understand. Yeah, I understand. So I mean I'm not belittling politicians. Some of our politicians are doing their job. Yeah. But I am in this ever long debate with my mom for percaya bulat-bulat whatever that comes out of TV mm. Mm. I think And it happens everywhere lah. at one point she was consuming social media content macam Facebook YouTube as if that is TV ini sudah masuk oh. di social media ba ni takkanlah orang-orang macam ni mau yeah. tipu and I'm like me kau tiap boleh sudah ni tahu cakap begini ini yeah. kadang-kadang orang menipu beginilah orang menipu selang. so Sometimes I can knock some sense in her lah, but. Kau paham ni tu kan? Yeah, there sama lah, my mummy pun sama juga begitu. Sometimes saya pun terpercaya, you hmm. see. But itulah I I want. Saya ada dua harapan, Igen. Satu, I want to uncover as many leaders as we can from the rural hmm. and second saya mahu uh, kita sentiasa berani bersuara and challenge the status quo I think orang boring sudah dengar saya punya tiga perkataan ni challenge status quo but itulah kenyataan dia and when you say challenge the status quo tu bukan dia sebenarnya membawa maks- maksud yang lebih mendalam ni maksudnya ada banyak kerja-kerja susah yang kamu perlu buat but keep on believing in yourself always make sure kamu punya niat tu betul kamu punya niat memang bukan berceramah pasal agama kalau tapi orang Islam bilang you know nawaitu kan if you have the right nawaitu insyaallah god hmm. will definitely help you along the way nampak susah pun jadi juga you know macam saya mau pergi UK pun tiada duit sebenarnya No money But Three days before Dapat juga duit And syukur saya habis juga lah Saya punya masa Walaupun Tidaklah dapat distinction But um, But I'm so grateful shit done. I got shit done <laughs> Dua marah lagi dapat distinction lah But At least with You know I think I should Itulah macam kita selalu ingat Kita tidak buat sehabis Baik you know This imposter syndrome I think Sometimes we should Uh, pat ourselves on the back juga lah because dengan kerja dengan macam-macam tanggungjawab we still manage to ni so sip sip show well done I think oh my god you're a mommy 
And you still show up, ba? You still show up. Kalau saya jadi you, I would have just amat set di rumah lah. Wait, wait. Are we, are we announcing this? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Kita, we'll, we'll, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> But, you know, well done and, and, um, apa lagi ya? Saya mau cakap, I'm very grateful lah, Egan. I don't know how to We're thank you. We're very grateful you. for you to be yeah, here. I'm very grateful. Macam, yeah. saya rasa, this is a lecture session that we need to pay tickets for ni. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> I mean, but, uh, but you see, even dengan don't get me wrong ah, si saya bangga because even with limitation, contohnya kamu bilang oh kecil kecil, but you still get things done. <laughs> you get the message out, yeah. and I think that is the most important thing. And and tidak perlu pun ada red carpet ka or or you know lighting ka apa no need, no need. Yeah, so. Well done, yeah. and thank you so much for thank inviting you. us. <laughs> yes. Ba, wrap up lah, mat. Wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> Macam addictive, oh kan, bercakap sama si Igan ni. <laughs> but you know, this is our first time, Benny. But yeah, betul. Okay, this is our first time. We never uh, usually message or mm. chat. They message them in zero one eight. Dia bilang kan apa dia ghost saya ni. And saya. and I was like because sep sep pandai. Paranoid Tiba-tiba Terus yang Did I say something wrong Terus yang Kau search Bahkan kau punya chat Yang Apa sih Cakap sama dia dulu ah. Kenapa no. dia tiba Gini ni ah? Rupanya Saya ada depress Sedikit lah Semasa On the way Apa Sebelum balik sini Sebenarnya Because I felt like I didn't want to come back uh. Sampai saya bilang Saya tidak mau lagi ni Number That's why okay. I still keep Kejap Let me just to top yeah, everything okay. then we can go do something else yeah uh this has been a sip sip show and we are very i don't know kita apa mau cakap sangat sangat apa ni apa ni, apa ni perasaan ni excited motivated macam kau baru habis seminar motivasi ni <laughs> and uh i feel like doing a lot more work after this like simply buat macam-macam i i'm just so This this positive feeling yang saya ada sekarang kan yang ni tu. Kan, ya betul. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to get shit done. <laughs> um, Vivianti, thank you very much for this. Ponsiko, terima kasih. Thank you. I'm so grateful for apa this opportunity and this like I said this is the first time kami bercakap. Hmm. Dengan panjang lebar Nanti kita sambung lagi Di yes. copy ping <laughs> A free ad- advertisement <laughs> uh, Okay um, This has been a sip sip show uh, Like, share, comment um, I guess I guess we're trying to market this thing now Because it's getting uh, Makin serious sudah Last time macam tidak peduli Ada follower ke tidak ke um, But this few days has been life changing for us And we realize that Sip Sip is going somewhere. And I think if you have been with us for... I mean, we have been doing this for five years. And I don't know. I don't know if this is something important to you. But if you co- if you continue to follow, then we appreciate it very much. If you can tell your friends what we're doing, like best lah. So... Mm. Uh, we just announced that we're expanding and we're looking for another podcaster two actually kalau boleh satu lelaki satu perempuan so it balance out and uh, yelah um, pray for us I guess and we'll see you in the next episode selamat malam oh dari saya Egan Ahmad and okay ciao